fans there he is welcome back to keep it in the ring i'm rich man Cuso, live on my youtube channel rich man Cuso, and also the agt network keep it in the ring page and without further ado he's been waiting patiently as i did the boxing talk i hope he enjoyed it here's 34 year old jimmy rivera he's main eventing uh now mohegan sun arena bare knuckles fighting championships this saturday night Live on their website, on a stream, Bare Knuckles website. We'll give it to you in a moment. Uh, Jimmy, thanks for waiting and welcome. It's nice to have you as we shift gears and talk Bare Knuckles on the program, a contact sport for the first time. So I'm going to enjoy this and want to learn a lot about it. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, Jimmy is 34 years of age. With, he's known as El Terror, right? At 1-1-1. One, one and one. Uh, he's a lightweight. He's main eventing now against 39-year-old Daryl Strauss. And immediately I've got to ask you, how does a bare-knuckle fighter prepare now? You Because the main event fell out. Am I right? Yeah, Heather Hardy was supposed to fight Christina for the title. And uh, Heather had some uh, injuries that she still has to take care of. But she had to step out. Was a call me in the fight. Right, so I don't know. Heather Hardy was doing bare knuckles. How do you even, you know, bare knuckles is almost like boxing except no gloves. And I understand, and I've never seen one live. I wanted to go Saturday. Unfortunately, I can't. But uh, how does bare knuckles uh, compare to boxing? No gloves, right? Yeah. Just your bare knuckles. Good old street fight. And you're not using your feet as well. Am I right? Yeah, it's just bare, it's bare knuckle boxing. That's it. How do you adjust becoming now a main eventer? And I know you're excited about that. For sure. Obviously, the main event, be close to home from a um, Jersey boy, of course. Jimmy Rivera. Uh, Jimmy, you got the name El Terra. Why is that? Um, so before going into bare knuckle, um, in general, I used to f do MMA. And I'm 23 and five as a professional MMA fighter. I fought six years in the UFC and fought some big names like Aljamain Sterling, Uriah Faber, uh, Peter Yan, uh, guys like that. And um, when I went finished my contract with UFC, I went shopping like any free agent does, and uh, stumbled upon this and loved it. I mean, when I do MMA fights, you know, you have to do boxing. We would go to boxing rings and stuff like that. I know you spoke about Shakur. I got to train with him a little bit too. Uh, awesome, unbelievable boxer, really good work. It was fun training with him. Kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. There's so many art forms that we have to work in MMA. Go into something like this, it actually feel like as a fighter prolongs your career because you're not doing the 10 or 12 rounds like boxing is. How many rounds is the fight? Five two-minute rounds. So I ask you this, Jimmy, now, you've done them all then. Kickboxing, MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, whatever, all contact sports, great sports, very physical, very, very com uh, competitive. Um, uh, why bare knuckles now and not from the beginning? You know, it wasn't an option in the beginning. Um, it was still just growing, uh, the sport itself. I didn't know of it until later on in my career, um, you know, after numerous fights. And when I had the opportunity to either do MMA or do this, Two of the things I could definitely didn't realize, you know, you only work on one art form compared to four or five others with MMA. So prolonged my career. Um, second thing, obviously, the contract and the agreement was just too, you know, one of those things too good to be true. I couldn't pass up the offer and what they were offering me. And when it comes down to it, as you get older, you know, you want the biggest thing is a payday is making sure you get paid and take care of your family. So that was another thing that, uh, you know, you know, put my decision doing this on top of, of boxing. So very going there. Jimmy, is it rewarding enough financially? I know MMA fighters, at least the undercard guys, the guys are on the low part of the totem pole on the way up. Uh, even the main event is an MMA. Don't make as much money as a pro fighter does in the main event status. Is it worth it for yeah. you to go into this? It is. If it wasn't worth it, I wouldn't do it. One. Why do you? My question is, why do you do it? Why bare knuckles? Why do you do it more? Sporting, and at the same time, I'm a competitor. I'm a fighter. You know, you talk about guys coming back, and you see a lot of guys retire. 
Um, and then they all of a sudden come back. You talk about, you know, you talked about Aldo recently. Um, Aldo came back and he had one fight left on his contract. He's obviously done boxing and other things. But when you're still with a contract, a UFC or a promotion, it's kind of hard to make the best of other contracts you get. Mm. So he fought out his last fight in the UFC and is now technically a free agent where he doesn't have to get permission to get the promotion fight. So it all comes back to like, people see what's in front, but though people don't see what the contract negotiation in the back. You see, like you talk about Canelo, you know what I mean? D did really well, all the stuff, but then you see how he was treated in the back with uh, De La Hoya. So, you know, there's different things that come out. Not everything comes out right away. Mm. It comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it all depends on the fighter and what their circumstances are. Jimmy, does does uh, how physical is bare knuckles compared to the other combat sports you've been involved with? I think it's like you compare this to MMA. I think it's safer. You compare this to boxing. I think it's safer. I think it's, a, I guess, violently you want to say a lot easier to get cut. But I'm not doing 30, 36 minutes in a boxing ring, boxing gloves, getting nonstop punched in the head. I've met a lot of boxers, famous boxers who are retired, and CT is real. And being punch drunk is real. And, you know, talking to them, sometimes there's a delay. Um, with this, it's shorter, obviously, the five rounds, but it's high intensity, five rounds. You know what I mean? There people, we're going at it. We're beating the shit out of each other. We're going at it. Do you fight in a cage? Fight in a ring. It's a In a ring, general ring. And three judges judge the fight like in boxing, too? Yep, same same scorecard. Okay. Well, I, I hope if it goes decision that they're not three blind mice like they are in boxing. That I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, that's tough sometimes. I mean, yeah. What's going on. What, what, what does, uh, uh, and I got to ask this because I'm such a boxing guy, as everyone knows. Um, what does a judge in bare knuckles over there at ringside look at is this a similar similar to what a boxing judge would look at when scoring a fight? I think everybody has their own uh, perspective on how to judge, and there's what they give, and then everybody has their little, you know, different tads what they account more for to win the round, and I think that goes well. In boxing, of course, they're looking for jabs. They're looking for generalship, but they're looking for jabs and how many connected or landed if they're really paying attention. Those judges. You guys are not j jabbing or anything with gloves. You're using your bare knuckles. How can they? How do they keep track of that? How many times the knuckles hit the body or the face compared to a glove? I mean, you got you know. I, I guess I have to correlate it with you know. You have your your strike count and you have your significant what they do significant strikes. What did the most damage? You know what I mean? Because you can land a lot of shots. You know what I mean? But the other person can have a little more significant strikes. And I think it still comes down to, with bare knuckle, I I guess my personal opinion is that it comes down your strike count, your significant strikes, and how much damage you do to the person, too, as well. Yeah. Now, now you're one, one, and one, meaning you won one, one, one. But what would the one, what was that one, a draw? So um, I had one that was a draw, and then my one loss came to me. Um, I was winning the fight. Jimmy, did we lose you? Carl, did we lose Jimmy's connection? I think I'm still here. You hear me or not? All right. Do you hear me, Jimmy? Because I lost you for a moment. You're there, right? Yeah. Good. All right. Um, how how long have you been, been have you been the bare knuckle fighter now? Uh, two years now, and. Uh, the one fight you were talking about, the one loss was be I was winning the fight, but I got cut really bad, and the doctor wouldn't let me continue. So that's that was those cut. Those cuts were from the knuckles from your opponent. Yeah, I got hit with a good shot, opening me up good over the eye. Where was it? The eye or the top of the head? The eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, you could be susceptible to that in boxing. I mean, with them bare knuckles, it could be worse. You wrap your hands as well. Do you wrap? We do wrap. There's nothing on our knuckles. Wow. I've got to see this live. Unfortunately, I can't come up this Saturday. Jimmy Rivera, 34-year-old in the main event, uh, uh, known as El Terra. Uh, what part of are you from uh, New Jersey? What part? Bergen County I grew up in. Bergen County. What gym do you train in? You train every day. What gym? Tiger Showman's. 
All right, so you're around a lot of fighters. Uh, you found MMA guys and fight pro fighters as well. So combat sports is your thing. Uh, what are you looking at Saturday night? A quick ending to this? Do you know your opponent at all? Yeah, I mean, he's a tough guy. He's a lefty. He uh, used to be the Bellator champ at 145. Um, you In this sport, you have people that are boxers, but you also have people that transition from MMA into this boxing world of bare knuckle boxing. Um, so he was a big MMA guy. He's uh, 0-1 right now. He, his first fight he had, he lost by decision. Very close fight. Um, I'm looking to feel it out and, and put him to the canvas by the second, third round. So you have weigh-in one on Fridays. You're weighing. What weight are you coming in? You're coming in here as a lightweight. Am I right? It's a catch weight, so it's at 150. Oh, just my- like oh, 150. Okay, and that catch weight though signed as a lightweight. Am I right? Uh, it was signed as a featherweight fight, but my 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 opponent, I don't think he could put down the McDonald's. So we right. had to. Do- <laughs> Carl Roberts, my producer, do we have any photos of images of him in action? He's got a great Instagram page, and I don't know if I was able to get some of his previous uh, his training. Carl, Carl, come on in real quick, Carl. I think you got a question for him, too, I believe. Uh, Carl's email messaging me as we go along. So Carl, funny. do you have any images of Jimmy? I know you two know each other. Unfortunately, I don't have any images. I wish I was All able right. to. Um, All right, so Carl, you're you, you're not going Mohegan Sun, neither am I. But you're going to no. be able to watch Jimmy where? Yes, I am. I'm actually going to watch it at a local bar here called Blue Forty Two. Uh, okay. They've been posting it all over uh, social media that they're going to be having this fight going on, and they're a big supporter of basically bare knuckle fighting and mm. all other sports too. Jimmy, I'll ask you again. This is a tough, rigorous sport, just like boxing and MMA and even kickboxing. You protect yourself at all times, I'm sure, just like all of them do in those other combat sports. How do you protect yourself from not getting hurt? I mean, there's no protecting yourself from not getting hurt. It's a fight. You get hurt in any fight. Boxing, MMA, kickboxing, doesn't matter. Something's going to land. You know, anybody can get lucky. It happens. Just how tall? Get- how tall are you? Five four. Oh, you're a little guy. Okay, so I would never bare knuckle with you. That's for sure. Oh, but you, my- you got that. You got that face of a bare knuckle fighter. You oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> so Latino we're- descent. Where? Where? Where is Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy Rivera from, or your family? Um, half Puerto Rican and half Sicilian. Oh, so you got a little Sicilian in you, like me? Yeah. All right, tempers galore. No, oh, maybe you'll <laughs> yeah, uh, my friend. We're calls watching it. Um, they're a big supporter, not only Giorgio, just you know, local local guys, but he's I'm also a police officer in town. So they're a huge supporter for our police force, Elmwood Park. So that's where our headquarters is and where all the fighters and instructors train at Tiger Showman's. So they're putting on a great uh a great show. And uh, again, Giorgio, thank you for throwing up the fight and uh blasting me on social media and, and getting it out there. As you are here on my YouTube channel, AGT Network, keep it away. Uh, Jimmy, I'll also, um, I know you don't want to look ahead, but is there a champion in this division? Do you have an eye on that? Yeah, I mean, he's got a tough fight coming ahead next month. Uh, Kai Stewart, he's, I think he's 6-0 and now. I don't know his exact record off the top of my head. He's a champ at 145. He's fighting uh, Duran next month in Florida. It's definitely going to be a good fight. It's an interesting fight because, like I said, you get MMA guys that come in here and boxers. You got Kai Stewart, who is an MMA grinder guy. Not the best boxer, but can grind and push the pace. And uh, with the bare knuckles, a little different because, you know, when you clinch, as long as you're working – you could keep dirty boxing. So that's a big difference from us and in the boxing besides not having gloves. Mm, interesting. And thanks for clarifying that for us. Um, Hold on. One more time. Then you're going to try to factor the week with me. And it's a bare knuckles right. fight question as well. I uh, call, go back to your uh, cave in a moment. All right, call. I'll get Hold you on. with wrestling. Go ahead real quick. Cause we're running late. Go ahead. You also have one of your, um, on the card with you is also somebody else from your uh, from Tiger Show. Yeah, but I have a teammate, Mike Trezano. He won the Ultimate Fighter. Um, four okay, out of- that's good. 
That's mm-hmm. good to know. All right. Now, um, so they do a little differently. They do main event, co-main event, and then like a feature fight. He was originally a feature fight. We all just got bumped up because of. Wish uh, you the best of luck on Saturday night. Wish I could be there. Carl, get the fact of the week loaded. We're going to give it to him, and then he's going to say goodbye and tell us how we reach him. You got it. Hold on, Jimmy. Carl's loading the fact of the week, and you're going to take a crack at it. Here right. we go. Get ready, Jimmy. Back to the. I you know, Jimmy. Don't don't knock me out. All right, because I do this with every all my guests every week. It's not trivia. It's a fact. It's a bare knuckles fact. The longest bare knuckle fight of duration. We're going back six hours and fifteen minutes. All right. Uh, I was James Kelly and Jonathan Smith at uh, in in Australia in December of eighteen fifty five. So that's how how long this illustrious sport is. Bare knuckles, eighteen fifty five. They went six hours fifteen minutes. I don't know how they did it. Uh, what type of uh, um, how he, the question here? The, the, the fact is because it went six hours and fifteen minutes. How many rounds do you think that fight was? I don't even, I wouldn't even know. I can't, I would have to do the math. I'm using my phone right now, so I don't have my calculator in front of me. <laughs> Seven, I'll tell you, 17 hours. 17 hours? You said rounds, right? Oh, 17 rounds. Excuse me. 17, right. 17 rounds. Round. 10 minutes? <laughs> I have no idea. I just got this as a fact. Did you know, my wife just sent me some. I don't remember the boxer's name, but they said the longest boxing fight, and this took place around the same age boxing was about seven hours like 42 minutes yeah yeah and i remember that i once wrote that up but i don't remember who what but yeah there's a lot of history uh you you for sure you're not going you're not going 17 rounds that's for sure saturday night no i'm not going 17 rounds that are 20 minutes each that's for sure (laughs) all right jimmy after the fight, <laughs> how do how do fans reach you? How does someone who might be interested uh, go up to the Mohegan Sun up in Connecticut, that beautiful casino resort, on Saturday evening? How do they get tickets? How do they find you on social media? Go ahead. Listen, just Jimmy Rivera, just go right to Instagram. In my bio, I have a link for tickets. If you could come out and support, which is awesome, I thank you. I have a link in that bio as well that you can stream it. Another thing is I am doing Jimmy Rare shirts for charity. Uh, the proceeds go to make So even if you can't go up, stream, watch it, buy a shirt, show the support, all the proceeds are going to make a wish. Okay, Jimmy, we'll sure to link that on the replay of this broadcast on Keep It In The Ring. Uh, don't go away because, uh, well, you will go away. And I'm going to close up the fact of the week as well, Call Close it up uh, before I say goodbye to Jimmy for the night. Okay, Carl, close up. Back to the week. Close it up. All right, Jimmy Rivera, 34-year-old, bare knuckles fighting. You can catch him live as a main event now. Bare Knuckles website streaming live Saturday night. Mohegan Sun Arena. Uh, Jimmy will be looking to increase that record and make his way up the ladder some more as a lightweight and catchweight now, Bare Knuckles Fighting Championship. I can't tell you, Jimmy, how much I enjoyed this. I learned a lot in the few minutes I was with you. Hope we get to meet in person. I always tell everyone, keep it in the ring, but this is not keep it in the ring right now. What, what should I say? Keep it in, keep the knuckles flowing? Uh, you, you know what? They call it the square ring. You know what I mean? All right. Keeping this, they, they Almost get- the same concept, except you have no gloves. It's bare knuckles. It's a rising sport as well in combat sports. We're going to be looking out for you. The best of luck Saturday night, my friend. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Jimmy. Be in touch. We'll we'll let everyone know how you mo- how you do on social media and on the program next week. That was 